I took a field trip with students from Stanton, Texas. We traveled to the Science Spectrum in Lubbock on a lit bus. Lit is short for Learning in Transit, a nonprofit founded by longtime educators Bill and Teresa Griffin that helps educators provide out of classroom learning experiences to students who seldom leave their own neighborhoods. The Lit Bus is a mobile classroom where passengers are immersed in learning from departure to return. What do you hope these kids are going to learn today? Basically, we're going to a Leonardo da Vinci exhibit, and we hope that they start expanding some of their consciousness to to understand who he was and the things that he contributed to, to mankind and get to see some of the experiments that he did and the drawings and the ideas that he had 500 years before they came about. The main thing that we want them to get out of it is some sort of idea that here's the things that I've been learning in school and why they work. So, I hope they, they really get a shot of it and understand what it's all about. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You're still asleep. Um, we're, this is a lit bus trip, learning in transit. And I don't know if some of y'all remember me talking about it to you when you were down in elementary and junior high school, but this is, this is what we've tried to do. And uh, I hope you guys have a really good time today. You're going to be seeing Leonardo da Vinci at an exhibit. Thanks for going. I hope you have a good time. Yeah, I want you to understand a lot of people make something like this happen. And I just uh, would like to ask uh, all of you in your hearts, thoughts, and prayers to give thanks somewhere along the line that some people care enough about you to help you do a trip like this. What was the most interesting thing you heard about Leonardo da Vinci? He came up with a lot of other things before other inventors. I think it was cool that he did anatomy art and he was a genius, like he invented stuff. He, he knew what to build that's in modern time. He sketched things out that we use today. So he would be pretty proud if he were alive today. Did you learn anything about the Mona Lisa that you thought was interesting? Like the uh, yeah, the, it was like passed around in many generations. And then many it changed generations. it so many times. Yeah, they had that's pretty cool. It. Yeah, it is. And then on the the Last Supper, I like how they showed how he had changed it and how they were moving when he changed it. I bet he would when he finished it and be like some sort of a really cool. What's good about getting out of the classroom and seeing stuff like the Da Vinci exhibit? First off, you're not learning it from a book. You're actually seeing the thing that he did. Yeah. And uh, it's a more suitable environment. I think it was just fun. On the way home, Bill shared his dream with me. He wants to show students new places, people, and ideas. Ideas they can encounter when confined to a classroom or a test. All our life experiences add up to our picture of the world, Bill says. They make us more eager to learn, and they change our notion of who we are and where we want to travel next. <laughs>